This is Caddy Fair, supporting for the transformative education drive at AUB. On the 4th of February, we hosted Professor Samir Dazard from Ecole Polytechnique for a mentoring talk. I will be interviewing Professor Dazard and students from the audience. Hi, thank you for the talk. Um, I just want to ask you, was this the first time you were giving a mentoring talk? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay, and what does it mean to you to give a mentoring talk to younger generations? <laughs> Yeah, this is not easy. You hope that your experience will help other uh, people to make uh, uh, what they, you know, a good choice. But I think it's just an illustration. Uh, they see, a, you know, just to see a model, a life, uh, and they see, ah, look how this happened, you know, where he started, where he ended. I, I'm, I'm not sure if it teaches people, but maybe it informs them a little bit, you know, gives them some information. And maybe I hope they, and I hope they enjoy the lecture. And do you feel like the audience was able to relate to your lecture? Well, I, I think it was my fault. I talked a little bit too long and there was not so much time <laughs> for the questions. But well, I hope they did. I, I, I could not really feel, uh, I was concentrating on the lecture, what I was going to say next, that I, I, I wasn't really looking at the audience very much. I, as you noticed, I was mostly looking at the screen. Um, since you didn't have enough time, do you think there's any other advice you'd like to give the audience? Life is short. Enjoy it. You only live once and I hope do your best to stay in good health because uh, health you cannot buy. All the rest you can buy, as they say in, in, in the English-speaking world. Just, you know, so that's why, you know, if you choose something you like, you spend most of your life in work, doing, you know, at work. Uh, and so, uh, you know, if you... Uh, if you if you are lucky to be able to choose something you like, then life becomes really more enjoyable. Uh, and so you know, just just enjoy life, and you know, uh, try and make the best decision at every given time. You cannot really make. You never have the elements because you never know how the future is going to turn out. But uh, you know, in your life, try and make the most reasonable decision, and uh, and hope for the best. And just don't look backwards. Just look ahead and, and enjoy. Things are not so complicated as, as they look. Uh, yeah. okay, thank you. Thank, thank you for that. Hi, doctor. Um, how did you find the talk? I thought the, the, the talk was great. Yeah. Samir did a beautiful job. And is this the first time you come to our mentoring talks, or have you been before? No, I have been before, but uh, I think that uh, uh, Samir Zard did an excellent job. Yeah. Um, was he your student back in university? He, he said that he, he kept uh, in my class uh, at the very end of the class, but he, he was not my student. He was the student of Costas, uh, Dr. Costas Sidridis, who is the professor of professors, yes, uh, by all means. And Samir chose the, the right section to be in. Mm -hmm. And how does it feel for you to see one of your or one of the past AUB students where he is now? I feel great. I tell you, I I feel uh, a sense of elation when I see my former student doing so beautifully. And uh, I recall that uh, uh, at one time I was uh, showing a poster at Berkeley. And uh, a former student came to see me, and uh, it was Samir Zard, and uh, said to me, do you remember me? I said, I'm not sure I remember you. And then he, he said his name. I said, of course, I remember you. Now I remember you. Yeah. OK, thank you so much. Thank you. What did you think about the talk? Uh, honestly, it was interesting. Like, uh, I know I'm an education student, but I'm always been interested in fashion and arts and stuff so it really spoke to me and it was inspiring so now I'm going to draw and what was the most interesting part about the talk when he uh, said that you should follow your passion yeah thank you okay hi uh, what did you think about the mentoring talk uh, I think it was uh, really influential. I mean, when you see these people from Lebanese origin and see where they've become in the highest 
of France's institutions in Ecole Polytechnique, for example. I think this is very influential, especially to us Lebanese, especially to us who are, who are studying and working really hard to become exactly what they have become and achieved. So were you able to relate and were you inspired by this talk? Definitely. It was very influential on so many levels. Okay, and was this the first mentoring talk you've attended? Actually, no. I uh, attend. Uh, I frequently attend these mentoring talks because they really do stimulate something inside of me, you know? So uh, these constant mentoring talks, they keep me alive. They keep me wanting uh, to go more. So honestly, I love these mentoring talks and I keep on coming to them. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I think it was great. It was very inspiring, to be honest. Yeah, he had a lot of wisdom to share with us. It's great to hear uh, uh, such wisdom from such a great speaker. Okay, guys, and what was your favorite part about the talk? Honestly, it was mostly towards the end when he was basically like uh, giving us advice about life in general and about what he did in life and when he, when he was asked about if he had any regrets in life. I found his answer very thoughtful. To be honest, I liked the first part where he shared the, the, his life and his path and how he started just like a, a, every normal guy with even uh, deprivated conditions. And he, he was lucky enough or uh, hardworking enough to uh, reach the top. Okay, and after listening to this talk, do you have any thoughts about changing a career path? Uh, honestly, I don't. But what he said really resonated. Like, you don't know if you made the right decision until way later in life because you don't you don't know what if what might have happened if you chose differently. Uh, hearing this talk is not actually about attracting us to his own career, but actually about fueling us to uh, to commitment in our own. So it just made me more. Uh, co commit more to my own uh, career path. Okay, thank you guys. Sorry to change the question.